Hi there, I'm Marie. Today we'll be making seafood pancakes. You can serve this as appetizers or simply as snacks. They are a great source of protein, bursting with umami flavor, and are highly satisfying. These ingredients are for 18 pancakes. We'll use one pound of frozen seafood mix and a few branches of green onion. For seasoning, use garlic powder, paprika, Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper, and some optional sesame seeds for garnish. For the batter, we'll need chilled water, all-purpose flour, cornstarch, baking powder, and one egg. Thinly slice the green onions. Thaw and drain the seafood in a strainer. Some pieces are larger than others. Cut them smaller so that all pieces are about the same size. Next, we'll prepare the batter. In a mixing bowl, blend the dry ingredients first. Lightly beat the egg before pouring it in. I'm using chilled water because it inhibits gluten from developing. That creates a lighter and crispier texture. The batter should be quite thin like this. Now let it rest for 20 minutes. Resting helps soften the flour. After resting, pour in the rest of the ingredients. First in are the spices. You can substitute fish sauce for the Worcestershire sauce. Either one gives an extra pop of umami flavor. Mix well and then add the seafood and green onion. Stir gently. The pancake mix is now ready. Start with medium heat. Pour in about 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil in a non-stick pan. I'll be using these egg rings to shape the pancakes. Apply oil on the sides of the rings to prevent sticking. Once the oil has heated, stir the batter mixture again before filling the rings. Cook for about 2 minutes, then remove the ring. At this time, the top of the pancakes are not solid yet. Cover the pan and let it cook for another minute. When the tops are solidified, flip them over to cook the other side. It takes about 2 more minutes to cook through. That's it! They're done! I forgot to mention in the previous batch, you may garnish the top with sesame seeds if you like. By the way, the egg rings do make the pancakes prettier. But you can also cook them without the rings. Simply drop the batter onto the pan and follow the exact same procedures afterwards. The pancakes are flavorful on their own, but if you like them spicy, serve with your favorite hot dipping sauce. Enjoy! Thank you for watching. Bye for now.